Geometry, page five, um, Mr. Root told us that this was one of the toughest pieces. And uh, you are getting close to the halfway point. This particular page 20 and problem eight is known to be a booger. So let's talk about it a little bit and uh, try to set, give you some tips, okay, for setting it up. And then um, hopefully you can take it from there, okay? So this is the one down here um, at the bottom of the page, and it says on separate paper. Don't you love that? On separate paper, write a formal proof. <clears throat> We're told that B is the midpoint of AC. Let's come over here at the diagram. Let's actually look at what we're talking about. AC is this arc, okay? If AC is that arc and B is the midpoint, why do you think they're telling us that? Okay, we're going to use that somehow. So early on, we need to say that arc AB and arc BC are congruent. Okay? And if they're congruent, and how do we know that they're congruent? Um, definition of midpoint of an arc. That's what the midpoint is, definition of that, okay? Now, let's see what else we have been told. OA is perpendicular to BD, okay? So we've already got a little, a little um, mark there to know that they are perpendicular, okay? And same down here, that these are perpendicular. Oh, wait, before we do that, once we know that these two are, are congruent, what, what else do we know? If these arcs are congruent, what does that tell me about this angle and this angle? Okay, if the arcs are congruent, can we say that their central angle is congruent? Hmm. I think there is a theorem about that. Theorem, uh, is it 46? If in the same circle two arcs are congruent, then their central angle is congruent. Yes, we learned that in this pace. Okay, so if, um, so we'll call that angle AOB is congruent to angle COB. Okay, so this angle here has to be congruent to this angle. All right. <clears throat> now, we mentioned that these are perpendicular. They told us that. So that means that these are right angles. Now, remember, we have to actually state that, okay? So we can say that this ODB and angle OEB are right angles, and then we have to make the next statement, which is like, duh, we know this, but if those are right angles, then that means that this triangle and this triangle are right triangles, okay? Now, that's important. So, we actually state, first of all, that we have right angles, then we can state that we have right triangles. Now, if I can prove that these two triangles are congruent, then I can say that these corresponding parts are congruent, okay? Because BD corresponds to BE, okay? On those two triangles that we kind of have highlighted there. What else do I know by looking at this diagram? Do these two triangles share a common side. Okay, I'm not going to take any further. I think you can figure it out from there. You know what to do when a side is equal to itself. And aha! Ha! Aha! I just gave you a clue. Ha! Will help you figure out that these two triangles are congruent. Well, they actually give you that clue here. See? Aha! The ha theorem. And uh, once you've proven that the triangles are congruent, then, well, they even tie you. Use CPCTC for your last step. All right, we're practically done. Just do the formal proof, show 
the reasons over here, and uh, hopefully you can finish this one up easily enough. There's one more toughie, and that's on page uh, 24, and so we'll talk about that in just a second.